Welcome to IntrolinkIQ.com. In this segment, we will explore the Enterprise Management Module as part of the free access to IntrolinkIQ.com. First, click Free Access, then create a free account. Type your first and last name, your email address and your preferred password, and click Submit. Once done, it will bring you back to the sign-in page. Enter your email address and your password and click Login. Let's proceed and navigate the Enterprise Management module. Here, you can see the Enterprise details starting from the Enterprise Information, the Enterprise or Business Description, the Company Logo, Business Structure, the Parent Company, Certification or Accreditation Section, the Regulatory Compliance Requirements, and the Enterprise Records Section. For the Enterprise Information Section, it's in this section where the facility will be asked to enter their company's legal name, their address starting from the country, the building number, city, state, and zip code, their contact details like the company's phone number, fax number, and email address, and the company website. Next is the contacts management for the facility representative and the emergency contact management in the event of a recall or any emergency concerning the products or the services that the company provides, you may add your emergency contact designees in this section so they will also be notified if there is any food safety event or sort of an emergency. Next to enterprise information is the description section. For the enterprise or business description, you can put here the description of the company. So you can put here what your mission is and what the company is all about, usually the details from the company's website. You may also expand the text box section if needed. This is also where Interlink IQ starts asking questions. If your company has facilities, if your enterprise has employees, if you import or export, and if your company offer products or services. Once your answer is yes, this section populates on the left table. If you don't have a facility, then the facility section will not pop out for you to fill out. Next is the enterprise process management. Tick mark what your process is and whichever category your enterprise is involved in. If the category is not listed in any sections, you may choose others to specify whatever it is. Logo Management section. This can be used by your team internally in putting it on your letterhead, in your SOPs, programs, policy and procedures, forms for records, and training materials. Under Business Structure Management, if your company falls under General Partnership, Corporation, etc., choose here. You will also be asked to upload a supporting file which can come in handy just in case you have a customer looking to verify that you're a verified enterprise. Annual Gross Revenue. This is where you put your gross revenue for you to track. If you have any trademarks, you can put them here. Upload a supporting file in this section and you can add multiple if you have various trademarks. Next is Parent Company Management. If you're part of an umbrella corporation, your subsidiary or whatnot, fill this out for the continuity and later verification by your customer. If you have a dense number, enter it in this section. You will also be asked what your relationship and your current position are with the enterprise. Just choose from the options listed below. Next is Certification and Accreditation Management. This is regarding your facilities, certification and accreditation. Just choose from the options and upload a supporting file about the certification and accreditation obtained by your facility. Under Regulatory Compliance Requirements Management, this is where you can upload 
your FDA, and your USDA registration certification. Lastly, the Records Repository Management. This is where you may add your additional enterprise records such as your tax ID, corporate documents, partnership agreements, certifications, accreditations, etc. To add an enterprise record, click the Add button. First, choose the document file from your own file storage. Next, enter the document title. Then, the document description. Lastly, input the document due date. If all fields are entirely filled out, click on Insert. This module is fully customized for your intended process and use by simply contacting services at interlinkiq.com or calling 202-982-3002.